you the power of god i i don't know but there are people god is raising to become mighty vessels i just saw an anointing rest on you this role in the name of jesus i don't know where you are but i pray may that grace now let it rest upon you and shift you to a new dimension in the name of jesus christ welcome to christocentric message on this channel you are going to get soul lifting messages faith-based content prayer drills and videos that would help you grow spiritually remember to subscribe to the channel like the video you are about to watch and comment on it stay blessed i want to pray for you now i don't know how we're going to do it there's such a crowd of people here i'm not sure the ushers may be able to bring a few of those people out but let's see if that is a possibility ushers whether you are an usher or not please if someone is under the anointing close to you be your brother's keeper and help them hallelujah can i pray for you now listen to me i'm going to request that you shout the name jesus at the end of my prayer and as you shout that name jesus all over this building all over this place the power of god is already resting on people there are people who are under the influence of devils and demons i will be commanding those spirits to leave and hear me in the name that is above all names no wicked spirit that has tied your destiny down will keep your destiny bound are you ready now father i decree and declare over this your people from the front to the back the left to the right there are men and women here under all kinds of yokes of darkness demon spirits tying down families tying down destinies we are preach jesus that name that is above every other name lord in the midst of this shout arise like the mighty warrior that you are and in the name of jesus let there be liberty are you ready now i'm going to count three and at the count of three everywhere inside and outside i want you to shout the name jesus at the top of your voice the moment you shout that name for many of you the power of god will come upon you and those demons and those devils will let you go i want us to have some of those people under the anointing so that i pray for them the ushers can bring them out when you find them thank you father in the name of jesus let there be deliverance right now are you ready one two three shout jesus now i command these spirits out of their lives now i command those devils out of their destinies bring them out i cause every spirit every oppression from the front to the back in the name that is above all names over the tarot land i decree and declare every chain of ancestry every chain of darkness tying down families every chain that will not let you go be loose right now be loose help them help them help them so they don't fall hold them be loose now in the name of jesus christ we're still praying you're going to shout that name again there are families where nobody rises there are spirits that keep those families down as you shout that name fire will come from heaven and those altars must be born tarot nation your season of liberty has come are you ready at the count of three one two three shout jesus every family under bondage of witchcraft bondage of ancestry bondage be broken now bring them out be broken now be broken now spirits of inheritance spirits of the dead i curse you by the name that is above all names open your mouth and begin to pray everyone 
open your mouth and begin to declare your liberty that in the name of Jesus every spirit every spirit I curse you now I curse you now pray for your children pray for your family in the name of Jesus now listen the Holy Spirit is ministering to me and he's saying you see a woman is a gate in the realm of the spirit and there are many families here that have been tied down and will not go forward I want to pray I'm seeing fire come on women and it's a prophetic sign that God is opening up the gates of families I'm ready to pray in the name that is above all names every family here that has been oppressed every family here that the devil will not let go I decree and declare at the count of three may that fire come and the womb of that family be open are you ready one two three I declare be free now be free now be free now mothers women be free chains be broken now be free now hallelujah hallelujah who is Lokia I'm hearing the name Lokia who is Lokia Lokia who is that you are wearing red like red who is that Lokia come what's your name Lokia from where Lanta. no 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 of course I know I mean where you here you stay here no 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 Abuja are you married Yes, sir. I want to pray for you, Thank you Jesus. because I'm seeing I'm telling you it's, it's a new season listen there is someone who is going to shout right now under the anointing loud to the hearing of everyone please bring that person now oh Tarokland you will never be the same you will never be the same it is not about Joshua Selman no 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 it is not about joshua selman there, there is a name that is above all names it is the name of jesus no man has the power to save and heal and deliver but there is a name there is a name there is a name don't look unto me look unto jesus my dear let me pray for you that every oppression around your life you came from abuja in the name of Jesus, I stretch my hands towards you and I pray that every oppression over your life and your family, let it be broken right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Who is Stephen? I'm hearing a name, Stephen. Stephen. We don't have the time. I will have to pray for the sick and then we're done. Please listen. Don't miss this crusade for any reason. Call everybody around. Tell them God is visiting the land. God is, vi you know families that are oppressed. Do not allow any family to stay without partaking of this. Stephen. I want to pray for you. In the name of Jesus who is the son of the living God. In the name of Jesus Christ, I decree and declare that everything that represents oppression over your life, everything, I'm hearing, is it a name? Miracle. 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 Is there someone with that name? Miracle. I'm hearing the name Miracle. You are wearing white. You are a young lady white like white miracle is there someone like that miracle who is that
What's your name, my dear? Miracle. Miracle. Yes. From where? From Lanthony. Okay, I'm going to pray for you. You didn't come alone. You came with who? My brother. Bring him. Where is he? God wants to open the door of this family. Once and for all. Please, where are you? Hurry up. Let's, let's save time, please. Please don't come out at random. You don't have to come out. His name is Testimony. Testimony. Who is that woman? Your mom? Mama? No, allow her. Allow her. It's the mom. God is stepping in and bringing a visitation to this family. Where is your father? He's at home. I'm not a prophet of doom, but I rebuke the spirit of death over him. And I use the opportunity to pray here. If there is any family that death is already roaming around, some of you have dreams and you see dead people speaking to you. They are trying to call you in the name that is above all names. Every connection between you and the dead, I declare let it be broken now. Let it be broken now. Mama, I want to pray for you. In the name of Jesus, who is the son of the living God, miracle. This lady is going to become a very great lady. This is what I'm saying. My dear God will use you to wipe the tears of Mama. Help her. Help her. The power of God is on her. Testimony. Gentlemen, where is it? I pray that you will never have anything to do with bad friends in Jesus' name. That any, any wicked and unreasonable relationship, let it be far from your life. Mama, the Lord is saying I should tell you, continue in the place of prayer. The place of prayer is your place of strength. The Lord is saying I should tell you because you are a woman of prayer. And God is saying I should tell you continue in the place of prayer. And that your prayer is going to bring liberty to the whole family. I decree and declare you are blessed right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Maybe just the last one. I'm going to pray. I'm not a, a prophet of doom. So when I speak, I speak based on the authority of scripture. But the Lord opened my eyes and we have to pray. There is a royal family that I'm seeing death come to. And the Lord is saying I should rebuke it. I'm seeing one of the royal families, one of the chiefdoms. Because I'm seeing people crying and saying, uh -uh, We have to pray. In the name that is above all names, I declare over our royal fathers and every chiefdom represented here, if there is any manipulation of darkness to cause death and mourning, we silence the voice of death right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Now, I'm seeing a woman, five years, no children. Five years. Who is that? Please don't just come out at random. Five years, you've been trusting God for children. Is there someone like that? I want to pray for you very quickly. And then I just speak over the sick and we're done for tonight. Five years. Make sure you are married. Are they married? Five years. No child. Huh? What's her name? Victoria, five years, you too? More than five years. More than five years. Makuba Kuchu Magana, they said five years. But I will still pray for you. No problem, man. Huh? Five years, just listen to instructions. It's all right, my dear. Look at me. Are you five years? In the... No, I'm going to pray for you. In the name of Jesus, I decree and declare. I'm seeing fire come on one of you right now as I'm praying. One of these people who have come, I just saw light and fire in the name that is above all names i decree help her please by the power of the holy spirit let it be gone forever i declare that those wombs are open supernaturally 
my dear this lady wearing the black uh, vest lift your hands i just saw fire come on you and the lord is saying i should tell you that by this time next year you will have a baby boy in the name of jesus christ i decree and declare You are almost my namesake, but your name is Selnan, Selnan, Selnan. Is there someone like that? Selnan. Who is that? Your life is about to change. There is a prophetic word, Selnan. Please don't tell lies. This is, this is, this. What's his name? No, he's right. Come. Are you a preacher, sir? What do you do? I teach and I preach. You teach and you preach? Yes, sir. I want to pray for you. Will you be embarrassed if I talk to you? How would I? Okay, two things. Number one, the Lord is saying he wants to bless you, but deal with anger. Like a You can be angry. You can be angry. And when you are angry, you can almost slap and beat someone. Then later you go and calm down. But you are a good man. But God is, I'm not condemning you and I'm not embarrassing you. It's a spirit. Why is he here? Your name is Selman too. Now, please don't be embarrassed. There are two people God is showing me. You are a gentleman here. You have a great destiny. But you are addicted to, uh, what they call this thing? That, huh? Huh? This thing that people take that looks like, um, yes, you know what I'm talking about. That, no, not Goscolo. Um, that you use your nose and snuff. There is a gentleman here. You have been having dreams, and in those dreams, you will see yourself preaching. But as it is, that thing has tied you down. Don't be ashamed. Come. I want to pray for you. That thing must be broken from your life. Because this is the number one cry of your mother. That if God can visit you and just turn that thing around, she will be the happiest woman. Who is that? Come. Don't be ashamed. Let's clap for him as he comes. Don't be ashamed. The mother literally dragged him to this crusade ground. Please let them come. You can see this responsible looking gentleman. That's to tell you that thing is a spirit. Addictions of all kinds. Tomorrow we'll be dealing with the issue of addictions. But this, this particular instructions, I just want to pray for you. What's your name, my friend? Huh? Huh? Nancy. Nancy. Listen, you are a great man. What are you doing now? Um, shoemaking. Shoemaking. Do you know that there is the destiny of a politician on you? This boy you are seeing. You are making shoes now. But hear me. I'm seeing you many years later being in politics. And God honoring you. But the one thing that would destroy you is the money you are using to make shoes. You are snuffing this thing and it just disorganizes your life. It's a spirit that wants to destroy your destiny. But in the name of Jesus here at this crusade ground, we use this once as a point of contact. Mothers agree with me as we pray. That of any no mother will give birth to a child for tears. There is no mother who gives birth to a child that will not enjoy the benefit and the blessing of that child. I use this once here and I prophesy. If there is any child represented in any family who is a victim of addictions of all sorts that will not allow that person to be a responsible child, in the name of Jesus Christ, we curse that spirit right now. Gentlemen, my brothers, I pray for you. Addiction to liquor, addiction to snuff, addiction to these, these demonic things, the power of God, there's one person there, God is touching her. Just You don't have to bring her, just keep her there. In the name of Jesus Christ, let her look at me. I'm stretching my hands there. The power of God comes upon you, madam. I curse everything that will not give you rest. In the name of Jesus Christ, I decree and declare, be free now. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, keep her there. In the name of Jesus Christ. Now, listen, gentlemen. Hear what the Bible says. Blessed is the man who does not walk in the counsel of the wicked. Sometimes you need to rid yourself of wrong associations. A sincere, innocent, responsible child 
who finds himself mixed with irresponsible people will inevitably begin to adopt their value systems so i pray for you you are delivered and you are free in the name of jesus and all of you who came out here be free from any demonic hole every spirit that will not let you go i curse it by the god of heaven you will go back and you will meet tremendous testimonies waiting for you in the name of jesus very quickly lay your hands um, on any part of your body you can go back please god bless you i'm speaking to everybody now lay your hands anywhere you are trusting god for a miracle if it's a part of your body you cannot touch just make contact with your chest i want to pray for the sick now i truly believe in miracles some of you already the power of god has touched you right where you are i want to pray for the sick many years ago I was in a crusade just like this and it happened to be Reinhard Bonke of blessed memory and I stood somewhere in the crowd while that man was ministering by the power of God and then it was time for him to minister the baptism and pray for the sick and while I watched him with passion and with honor desiring that which was upon him I was already in ministry and God had helped me but I saw a level of grace that I desired and I looked at him with passion and that was the first time I saw a visible manifestation of the Holy Spirit. I saw a bird that was so big just hovering around the entire crusade ground. I thought everybody was seeing the bird but I was the only one seeing that bird and from that time the Holy Spirit took me to Genesis chapter 1 and the Spirit of God hovered around the face of the waters and god said let there be and there was and he told me the union of the movement of the spirit and the spoken word is what produces the miraculous it came to me as a revelation and my life and ministry changed i want to pray for you i want you to believe in miracles take your eyes away from every sickness and look unto jesus for you will not be ashamed when you look at him as i pray for you and rebuke that sickness I want you to take a bold step and do what you could not do the moment you find out that the power of god has touched you and something is happening um i'd like you to come right here let's have one or two of the pastors or someone just stand there okay there's someone waving his hands so that you can just come and we'll give you an opportunity we'll just take one or two testimonies for tonight and then we're done we'll continue tomorrow are you ready now place your hand there i want to pray for you father in the name of jesus the son of the living god you gave us the power to heal the sick and to cast out devils and to bring liberty to people and territories lord your precious people have been plagued by all kinds of sicknesses and infirmities and i decree and declare as you have commanded that everyone under the influence of the spirit of infirmity in the name that is above all names be healed now shout a loud amen be healed now from the crown of your head even to the soles of your feet every sickness every disease every infirmity i command it to leave your body now cancer I command you to go now blind eyes if there is any blind eye here I command be open right now in the name of Jesus every bone condition in the name of Jesus Christ be healed now every deaf ear partial or total deafness I command that ear to open right now HIV be healed in the name of Jesus ulcers of all kinds be healed in the name of Jesus the Lord is healing someone of high blood pressure this is what I'm seeing high blood pressure has been healed right now in the name of Jesus there's someone suffering from sugar diabetes the power of God is touching you right now I cause diabetes in the name of Jesus Christ I'm seeing someone I think you had a, a surgical procedure you went for surgery 
and since that surgery you've not been able to stand and feel normal again it looks like there's a very sharp abdominal pain as i'm praying right now the power of god is touching you completely this person you are is like you are part of the worship team of the organizers organizers in the name of jesus christ oh you are the person there in the name of jesus christ god is healing you i decree and declare over you be healed right now by the power of the holy spirit in the name of jesus christ in the name help her please please help her in the name of jesus christ i'm praying right now please pay attention there's someone you don't see i don't know if it's that you don't see completely or you don't see well with your right eye right now in the name of jesus i command that eyes to open right now you could not see me very clearly but after the prayer you'll be able to see me very very clearly there's someone you have liver problem there's a problem with your liver i declare the healing power of jesus upon you right now in the name of jesus christ the lord is showing me a woman i don't know if you're a mother or you're a woman i've seen this happen many times you don't have a child but you are lactating you are producing breast milk but you are not you are not breastfeeding any child in the name of jesus christ i decree and declare right now let there be healing for that person now there's someone you have heart palpitations sometimes you stand and you are gasping for breath and it looks like you can't you are not able to breathe well in the name of jesus be healed right now a gentleman you came here you could not lift your hands right now as i'm praying i want you to check yourself and lift it right now every kind of lump and growth around your body i command that growth to give way right now in jesus name i command that growth to give way right now in jesus name there's someone i'm seeing like a, a swelling at the back of your neck i command that swelling to disappear right now in the name of jesus another i'm seeing like you have a growth around your armpit area here wherever you are be healed right now in jesus name now whether i mention your case or not in the name that is above all names wherever you are be healed in the name of jesus be healed in the name of jesus be healed in the name of jesus my god there are several miracles that are happening now here's what i want you to do for me here's what i want you to do for me i want you to check yourself very quickly and do what you could not do check yourself and do what you could not do the moment you find out that you could do what you could not do check the pain if you could not walk try to walk do something that you could not do the moment you find out that there's a miracle for you i want you to walk to the front and come here let's celebrate them as they come walk to the front there are miracles happening check yourself whatever you could not do make your way to the front right now are you seeing people coming my god jesus is touching people come on tarok people tarok land let's celebrate jesus are you seeing miracles happen check yourself the moment you find out that you have been touched i'd like you to come and stand very quickly please someone confirm them and then we'll have a few testimonies lift your hands and check yourself sir i'm seeing a man with something like bandage what happened to him no 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 be careful let don't, don't don't force him what happened to you sir just like that sir look at me you are an elderly man do you believe in miracles yes sir look at me lift your crutch lift it up in the name of jesus gently walk come walk 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 look at this are you celebrating miracles sir do what i'm doing walk walk oh look at this look at this look at this walk listen sir this is witchcraft it's not about sickness this is witchcraft but i come in the name that is above every other name and i decree and declare 
I'm seeing another person hold a crutch. I want you to start walking. I don't know where, but I'm seeing in my vision. There's someone else who came holding a crutch. I want you to walk. Walk. Sam, keep moving. Walk. Walk. Carefully. Don't be afraid. Go. Go. Walk around. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Just direct him. Help him so he's not exhausted. Sir, I think his miracle, his miracle will be the first we'll take. Give him the mic. Give him the mic. Let me talk with him immediately. Who is that lady crying? His daughter? Give her the mic. What happened? Someone who is with the mic. Okay. What's your name, my dear? Okay. Hold on, please. What happened to your father? Over a year. What happened to him? Is that mic loud enough? Sound people, help us, please. Okay. The leg just swell up. Just, look at the little boy walking. <laughs> look at the little boy walking. He could not walk. My God. Look at this. In the name of Jesus Christ, someone just lay your hands on that boy for me. In the name that is above all names, I rebuke that sickness. And I command right now. Whose stick is that? That's the stick he used. Look at this. That's what he used to come here. Oh my God. Are you seeing what Jesus is doing? Wave your hands and say thank you Jesus. Wave your hands and say thank you Jesus. There's another miracle happening there. Are you celebrating miracles? Look at there's another miracle happening there. There's another one here again. Another miracle there. Look at, look at this. Miracles are happening. Are you celebrating Jesus? The name that is above every other name. Someone has been healed there. Don't force them. Please don't force them. We are not faking it here. Don't force them at all. If they are recovering, gradually give them a chair to sit. Don't put pressure on them. In the name of Jesus. My dear, you were speaking very quickly. What did you say happened to your father? For over a year now, the leg just swelled up and they said it's rheumatism. Rheumatism. Baba, uh -huh. could you do this before? Could he do this before? No, sir. Not at all. Not at all. In the name of Jesus, Baba, I decree and declare over you. This miracle has remained permanent in your life. I declare that you are healed from rheumatism. In the name of Jesus, the son of the living God. And this is our little son. How was he walking before now? Help me. That before he used to walk with this stick. Let him, let him show us how he used to walk before. Look at this. This, this was how he used to walk. Yes. Like that. Can you imagine a young boy of this age? Look how wicked the devil is. And right now, what happened? Walk without it. Come. Oh dear. In the name of Jesus, I declare perfection. Perfection for him. In the name of Jesus. Let's have a few testimonies very quickly. Miracles are happening here. Very quickly. We, we don't have all the time. We'll just take two or three and we'll have to wrap up for tonight. Yes, please, quickly. Please confirm them very quickly. Let's have, yes. So we have this woman here. She's been having this leg pain for like a month now. Yes. But completely healed by the power of Mama, God. do what you couldn't do. Run. Run. Apostle, somebody here who came, uh, he has been paralyzed for some time. Paralyzed? Yes, sir. I'm seeing Mama walking without her crutch. Are you seeing what Jesus is doing there? Paralyzed. Who was paralyzed? How many years? Help the man. Three years. Paralysis. Three years. Baba Chen. Go. Walk. Walk. Look at this. Three years paralysis. Three years paralysis. Yenzu nenagane. Oh, yes. Baba, 
in the name of Jesus Christ, it will never return to you again. The fullness of your days you will leave. In the name of Jesus, sir, your hand, lift it up. Bring it down. Lift it up. Bring it down. Lift it up. Paralysis, bring it down. In the name of Jesus, you are perfected. In Jesus' name, my God, so many miracles. Yes. One more miracle. He came with a palpitating heart. Okay. After the prayer, he How many said, years? For how, how long? long? For six months. Six months. And right now? He's okay. Breathe in and out. Breathe in and out. It never returns to you again in Jesus' name. Yes, please, very quickly. There's a, there's a case of blindness for, total blindness on the right eye for one month. Completely healed now. Completely. Total blindness on the right eye. Mad Close, close the eyes that you could see with before. Which of them? Now walk. Close the one you couldn't see. Look at this. It's open now. Blind eyes opening. Look at. She's waving her hands. Hallelujah. It will never return to you again. In the name of Jesus. Let's, let's just take two or three and then we'll archive the remaining miracles and we'll take it tomorrow for time. Yes, please. Ulcer pain. Yes, it will sir. never return to you again. In the name of Jesus Christ. Yes, please. Let's have any one more and then we're done. There's another blind case here. She came here. You could see that the eyes are swollen. She could oh, I can see completely. the swollen eyes. Yes, sir. She could not but see. She can see while you give the declaration. What's her, her name? Eyes open. That's so you could not see. My dear, I want you to walk. Come to this man here. Oh, come to this man. Charles, move while she follows you. Follow him. Follow him. Follow him. Follow him. Follow him. Can you see her eyes swollen? She could not see. Are you celebrating Jesus? In the name of Jesus, don't cry. You see... Look up, please. Miracles. Let, let me say something before we wrap up. Miracles are not just a demonstration that a man is anointed or powerful. More than that, miracles are proof that Jesus loves you. And miracles are proof that he's mighty. Are we together now? That means you do not need to go to any other God or serve any other God. Jesus is more than enough and he's sufficient. Miracles are letters from Jesus to you, telling you that he is dependable. You can trust him and you can stake your life on him. Hallelujah. Yes, let's have the last one. Cancer of the eyes. Oh, I'm seeing him wrap a bandage. Cancer of the eyes. Cancer of the eyes. Yes, sir. He could not see completely with He could not see. But after the declaration, look at you can see the bandage on his head. How long, my friend? For about five years now. For about five years. The eyes. Close the eyes you could see and walk with the one you could not see. Direct him so he'll follow something. Follow this gentleman. Look at this. Cancer of the eyes. Keep going. Follow him. Oh my God. In the name of Jesus Christ, my dear friend, I pray for you. Not only will your eyes open every trace of cancer, no matter what stage, we declare it is reversed right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. For all who have come, I really apologize. I'm not sure we may be able to take more testimonies. Okay. She came with her left ears, not hearing. Her that left ears? Not hearing at all. How long? For six years. Six years. Six years. You could not hear with she your left ear. Which of them? Her, this one. Yes, with her left ear. In the name of, and now you can hear clearly. And now she can hear clearly. My God. I stretch my hands and I pray. If God open ears, He can open any door. If God open ears, He can open the doors of any and everything to the glory of His name. Therefore, I decree and declare over you, this ears open will remain open in the name of Jesus. And for every other miracle here, we declare that the glory returns to Jesus in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Now, please do me a favor. 
I'd like you to be an agent of publicity all across our precious cities. Call your loved ones and call everybody. Tell them that Jesus is giving people strange visitations. Tomorrow we're here, 4 p.m., am I right on that? 4 p.m. on the dot. I'd like you to come, even if there's no space, sit on the fence. I'm going to be sharing something very powerful with you and we'll be praying for the sick, we'll be prophesying over people and then I'll be giving you a few instructions for the final day. And tomorrow joining us here will be Dr. Panam himself, Panam Pasi Paul. It'll be a wonderful time even as we worship in the name of Jesus Christ. But for tonight I pray over you in the name of Jesus Christ. You return in peace in the name of Jesus. And I pray that many of you will go to bed tonight and you will have strange angelic encounters. In the name of Jesus Christ, every spiritual laxity, every lukewarmness towards the things of God, there is a revival for you tonight in the name of Jesus. I decree and declare that you are blessed. You go from glory to glory and from grace to grace. In Jesus' name I pray. God bless you and see you tomorrow.
Dearly beloved, I hope you were blessed by this message. Do not keep the video to yourself. Share to as many as you can to help them bless. Check our homepage for more of our messages. Subscribe to the channel. Comment on it. Like it. See you on our next video. Bye. Pray. Pray. Pray for your destiny. Alaska de Basca Nakata Branda Katekapo Kate Branda Katapa Kotosko for Brekatek and Nakata. The face of development, Lord, grant me the discipline.